people visit this mountain, it can be potentially dangerous, especially as you get into the winter season. This New Hampshire's Mount Washington on a pleasant summer day. Don't be fooled. At 6,288 feet, it's the highest mountain in the northeastern U.S. and home to some of the world's most extreme weather. Mount Washington in New Hampshire is known for extreme weather. In fact, it is the home of the world worst weather. Reasons for why Mount Washington in particular sees the wind conditions that we see is even though we're not that large of a mountain, we really are by far the largest mountain around actually for quite a ways off. So uh, you have to go almost a thousand miles in every direction to reach a higher peak than Mount Washington. Big, big day today. We've been looking forward to this for a very long time. Today we are hiking Mount Washington. Got a long way to climb, baby. The day officially begins. Okay, so this is your second time doing this? Yep. Well, I said after doing it the first time that I wouldn't do it again because crossed it off the bucket list. And now here I am, out of breath, on the walk to the trail. <laughs> <laughs> She hates me right now because I'm the one making her do this. It'll be rewarding later. My knees are already a little bit sore. <laughs> like, not even kidding. We've gone maybe 50 yards. I have a confession to make. What's your confession? I've never hiked before. Any last words you'd like to say to your fellow man before we hop on this trail? Last one to the tops of Rotten Egg. 9.30 a.m. We are starting the first part of the Ammanusik Trail on Mount Washington. So here we go, 9.30 a.m. on this beautiful Thursday morning in New Hampshire. video is going to know some of the insane and super interesting facts of Mount Washington that make it such a special place and like a milestone hike for people. The first being that it's actually the largest peak in the Northeast at 6,288 feet. Seems small for a peak, but what makes it so challenging and what we're finding out as we're on it now, so you can hear from my breath, is the elevation is pretty much uphill the entire time. So pretty strenuous climb on the legs. Second, it has some of the most extreme weather conditions in the world. Not just on the Northeast, not just in the US, in the world. In the winter, the winds can actually reach up to 100 to 140 miles per hour. And even more than that, winds of over 200 miles per hour have been recorded at the summit where we're going right now. So really one of the cooler hikes to do. Very dangerous hike. So we are keeping our eye out, making sure we're staying safe today, have all the proper gear. Yeah, very excited to experience Mount Washington for the very first time. The knee burner, baby. It is like a Stairmaster the whole way up. All the people on the channel that are actually watching this video that have hiked Washington like 15, 20 times. You control the comments, I don't really care. This hurts my knees. <laughs> How would you breathe if someone cool was coming down the mountain right now? Oh, be cool, be cool, be cool. Hey, how's it going? How do you really feel? <laughs> <laughs> About two miles in, I have another mile to go until Lake of the Clouds. It was basically like doing a three mile hike uphill and then dropping you on Lake of the Clouds and just starting over. Like, all right, none of that counted. Start from scratch, good luck. That's where we're at. You almost have vertigo feeling like you're on top of the world up here. And I'm now realizing the strength you need to carry this 1DX up these rocks with one hand, pay attention with the other. 
starting to get a little bit tougher. Hey, this is the sign we were talking about on the way in. Mount Washington has had the worst weather in America. Many have died there from exposure, even in the summer. Turn back now if the weather is bad. Luckily, the weather's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna keep going. crazy as you're going up the rock pile here the last mile and a half besides the fact that it's probably the hardest part of the hike just given the miles you put in already the geology has changed so much from the woods these crazy rock piles it almost seems like you're on Mars or on another planet go oh, this is when whew, you gotta just mentally just say foot goes in front of foot it's way hotter up here than we expected too whew. almost to the top of Mount Washington oh. <laughs> <laughs> we made it we made it congratulations oh. you did it so we have all these clothes in our bag. Yeah. Just shedded layers, but made it to the top. We are basically a nonprofit mountaintop weather station. We've been here for 87 years now, studying Mount Washington's weather. Our claim to fame really is the wind, so we are one of the windiest weather recording stations in the world, actually. We are the windiest weather recording station in uh, the Northern Hemisphere, actually, averaging 35 mile an hour winds year round. This is a topographic map of New England. So basically this is showing us the elevations and how they vary really across uh, New England here. So for your reference, we have Boston, Massachusetts, Portland, Maine, and Burlington, Vermont. Uh, here's where we're located, right on the top of Mount Washington. So a couple reasons for why Mount Washington in particular sees the wind conditions that we see is even though we're not that large of a mountain, we really are by far the largest mountain around actually for quite a ways off. So uh, you have to go almost a thousand miles in every direction to reach a higher peak than Mount Washington. The closest points are in uh, the Black Mountains of North Carolina, the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, and then uh, to our west, which is where prevailing winds are coming from, you have to go all the way out to the Black Hills of South Dakota to reach a higher peak than Mount Washington. So wow. there's Man. quite a wow. stretch there, really, of, of basically uninterrupted air, we call it, at the 6,000 foot level until it kind of slams into the presidential range and Mount Washington. There's basically this large scale funneling feature that takes a pretty large flat zone, basically, of uh, the northeastern kingdom of Vermont, that region there slowly forces it to squeeze, compress, and actually kind of accelerate and blast itself right at the summit of Mount Washington. We have some analog kind of digital displays of uh, the different portions of the weather. Being most famous for the winds though, this is usually the most interesting of these charts to look at. So this is called the haze chart. This is an extremely boring haze chart actually today, uh, but we have examples of more exciting ones I'll show you in a second. The way this works though, the further out from the center, the higher the wind speed, and the thicker the red line, the gustier the wind. So you can see it's it's flat lined basically yeah. across the, the whole chart there, right on the center. Um, so we really haven't seen winds higher than 20 miles an hour all day. So just as an example, yeah, I'm looking at that. This is an example of a much more exciting day. Oh, look at that. Uh, normally <laughs> in the winter season we see our highest winds, but this is actually the windiest summer day that we've ever seen. So this is a peak wind gust of 154 miles an hour, uh, July 20th of 96. 
and uh, winds were sustained at 120 miles an hour for three hours straight during the peak of the storm there. Uh, winds were overall gusting over 100 miles per hour for most of the day, really. And this is just a couple miles per hour shy of a Category 5 hurricane. What an all-star day. And we're here on the top of the observatory. We got a personal tour. Thank you to Bruce and Nancy and Tom for giving us this tour. Really learning about how the weather conditions are so severe at the top of Mount Washington. It's something that I said at the beginning of the hike, but we're finally learning from a pro. I think we're gonna sign off here, ice our legs a little bit, grab a nice cold beer. So thank you guys for coming along on the journey. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, if you wanna see more videos like this, Subscribe below, like this video, give us some comments, and uh, I'll see you guys on the road. Oh,